I'm Tracy Baxter in the Times Herald Record Newsroom with this Newswatch update. By this time tomorrow, we should be looking at the start of a storm that uh, could leave us with anywhere from four to eight inches of snow before it moves out tomorrow night. This is certain to create challenges for millions of Thanksgiving travelers throughout the Northeast. Keep clicking here at Record Online throughout the day and evening for the latest weather information. The call came in at around 8.30 last night. Someone was driving the wrong way on Route 17 in Sullivan County. State police stopped the car that had been heading east in the westbound lanes near the Parksville exit in the town of Liberty. 53-year-old Wayne Rogers of Stratford, Connecticut has been charged with DWI and multiple vehicle and traffic violations. In Dutchess County, police have identified the woman who was accidentally struck and killed by her husband in the village of Rhinebeck Sunday. 84-year-old Barbara Inkes of Rhinebeck died after getting hit by a car driven by her 87-year-old husband, Melvin. Police say she'd gotten out of the car and her husband stepped on the gas, thinking he had put the vehicle in reverse. And Democrat Middletown Mayor Joe DiStefano and Republican Orange County Executive Steve Newhouse have uh, clarified their positions and smoothed over any differences regarding the proposed sale of the county-owned Valley View Nursing Home and any possible connection between that and uh, support for Middletown projects. DiStefano said he and the county executive cleared the air after the mayor received a letter that he felt had implied that he had done some arm twisting to try to get uh, local legislators to support a Valley View sale. We need a dialogue, not political fighting, and that's what I'm hoping to do now. I'm hoping that, uh, that our brief little spat here from last week till today will set a different tone um, and continuation of progress that we've made over the months. DeStefano says he's taken no position on the future privatization of the county nursing home. With this Newswatch update, I'm Tracy Baxter.